Hey everyone, Shirley Willingham here and in this video um, we're just going to finish up this painting. You've done the four key steps um, in the five simple steps painting course and now we're just going to come in, put in those brights and finish up this painting. Keep watching because at the end of this video I'm going to show you a really cool trick on how to get this grass in the front here and it really just makes your foreground just so much more interesting. <music> Right, so what I'm just doing here is I'm just picking out the really bright areas in our painting. So you can do this, um, a good way to do this is just to squint your eyes and look at the reference picture and just pick out what really strikes you. In this cottage painting the sun is hitting that cottage from, um, from, from the left hand side. So, um, so we're going to paint, um, we're going to use just uh, titanium white mostly, and just a very small touch of yellow and a little bit of the blue. And just to show that a little bit, but just to get that, you know, get the walls in nice and bright, um, exactly where the sun is hitting it. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm picking out the real dark areas. Um, so in this case, it's the, the thatching on the roof. Just be careful not to um, overdo it and color everything too dark. So I'm leaving it a little bit patchy as the sun is hitting that section of it. So if you just again squint your eyes at your reference picture and pick out the real dark areas. Now this contrast between your dark and your light, that's, uh, the, that's really what absolutely just transforms a painting because you give that lovely contrast and it gives a lovely sense of depth. going to work on the foliage on the bushes and the trees just behind the cottage. Now I just take note that it's just really it's about layering um, when you're creating trees. Um, you have the very dark, um, you put your shadows on first, so you're very dark underneath and then you come in and bring it a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter and just sort of roughen it up. You'll notice how I'm um, turning my paintbrush around just to get you know the different shapes and the, and the, uh, and the lay, uh, just sort of the layout of the bush. So here's the tip that I promised you at the beginning of this video. Um, right, we're going we're gonna to make the bush, but it has a really great way of making the grasses in the front. You paint on some wet paint, and then you get a nice rough brush, um, or a, fan, a little fan brush just with nice rough bristles, and then you ruffle up the, the paint before it dries. So this you've got to work really quickly. Remember, we're working with acrylics. So put on a layer of paint, and then just ruffle it up with the brushes as you go. And you've noticed I've used quite bold colors here yellow and then I've come across with red and then just ruffled it all up and I've blended it slightly um, as you as you work your way down through that foreground. Thank you. 